Hello there, this is Matt Wilson of Matt Wilson Tarot. It is Monday, September the 27th, 2021. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I thank you for your continued support. If you have not already done so, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Thank you. Hello there, Aquarius. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining bright inside of you. What? Where's the other one? I have two flippers here. One. Two. Three. There it is. Sorry, cutting the deck for Aquarius. Spirit, too many flipping cards. Where did first card out? Ooh, the magician, the great manifester, the magician. There's a hand here with an eye. There's a looks like a one with a W on it. Um, he's got a sword up here, a pitcher. Candles, crystal ball, a wand, cups, and plants. The great manifester. What are you manifesting? You can manifest cups for love, pentacles for money, wands for passion, and swords for honest, clear communication. The great manifester. What is crossing this? Oh, nine cups. Nine cups. Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Self-love, self-esteem, self-worth. Nine cups means loving yourself. Love yourself first before you can love someone else. You are, If you are single, you are single because you know you deserve someone just as fantastic as you are. This is emotional intelligence. This is the vibration that you have to be to attract your person, your partner, your soulmate. Consciously known. Two of Wands. Wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Two of Wands talks about um, that there's a fork in the road and you need to choose a path. The Two of Wands also talks about traveling. There's a globe in this card in some decks. Um, you may have to travel to see the person you are interested in. You may have to travel for work. Two of Wands. Wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Unconscious. Two of Swords. Swords are Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, two of Swords just talks about indecision. Indecision, you need to make a decision. The decision it will be to cut someone or something out of your life. Recent past. Page of Pentacles. Money. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You see she's reaching in her purse. Page of Pentacles. Pages are messengers. This is a money message. A money message. Near future. The King of Cups, the King of Love. Cups are water energy, can't spicy Scorpio. He's got a heart for an eye. Upside down heart for a nose. I don't know if you can see it. His zipper tie is a heart. Cups are water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, the king of cups, the king of love. He is loving, caring, compassionate. He's a nurturer, a good partner, a good parent, king of love. Where do you find yourself? <gasps> Ten cups. Ten cups, ultimate abundance and love. Cups are water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. See, nine cups turns into ten cups. You love yourself first. True love. Ultimate abundance and love. Cups of water energy. Count spicy Scorpio. You see the house with the heart, the property. Ultimate abundance and love. External influences. The Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands. This is my player card. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Knight of Wands. He's good looking, charismatic, fun to be with, sexy, exciting. But he has a player um energy 
towards him. He is less mature than the king or queen. And so, yes. Player energy, hopes and or fears. The justice. This is the Libra card, the justice. You could be involved in a um, court case, uh, child support, divorce, uh, where you will get what you deserve. Um, this could also talk about, since it's the size and Libra, the size. Um, usually this person is blindfolded because justice is blind. This could mean cutting someone or something out of your life. I think that Two of Swords is the Libra card as well. Cutting someone or something out of your life. Overall outcome? Three of Cups. Three of Cups talks about happiness, friendship, reunion. Cups are water energy. Cat, spicy, Scorpio. These three figures are having drinks around the table. Bottom of the deck. Ace of Swords. Swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Ace of Swords. This is new. This is new, honest, clear communication. Ace of Swords. Four of Cups. Four of Cups. Someone broke your heart in the past. Cups are water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person is sad. Um, focusing on the three cups. Apathetic, not interested in love at the moment. But... Behind the, behind him or her, there is the cup of self-love. So cup of self-love, you need to love yourself before you love, before you can love anyone else. Four of Wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is my 1111 card. Uh, this is my party card. Um, there could be a rehearsal for a hand fasting. Reversal for a wedding. This talks about the increase in level of commitment in a relationship. King of Swords. King of Swords. In my opinion, King of Swords is an Aquarius card. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The King of Swords. The Ice King. Um, the King of Swords is all about honest, clear communication. If you do not give the King of Swords honest clear communication, he will cut you right out of his life. Justice, Libra, also cuts things out of their life. He makes head over heart decisions. However, if you do bring the King of Swords honest clear communication, he is very loving and loyal. Five of Swords. Five of Swords, this is drama. This is toxic energy. Lying, cheating, stealing. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I don't like this energy. But we had. Maybe we have, you had. Need to. Oh, well, I'm not. You had. Need, needing to get something or someone out of your life. We had the player. We had the justice also cutting someone out of your life. There might have been more than one person in this situation. Um, heart was broken because of toxic energy. Past. And we have... We had the magician, the great manifester. Cups are love, money, passion, honest communication. We had new money. Oh, we had the nine of cups, self love, self -love, self love, self worth, self esteem. We had a money message. We had the king of love. We had the ultimate abundance in love. We had honest, clear communication. We had increase in level of commitment and king of swords. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. See? Old stuff. 
You cut, you cut this person out of your life. I'm not surprised that showed up. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. It's kind of like divine timing. Bottom of the deck, love yourself first. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So we had the great manifester, self-love, emotional independence. King of Love, Ten of Cups, Nuclear Honest Communication, and Increase in the Level of Commitment. Love yourself first. All right, Aquarius, have a great evening, and I will talk to you later. This has been Amanda Wilkson of Amanda Wilkson Tarot. Bye for now.